I made a huge mistake. Well, yesterday, because it is now 12.03 p.m. on Saturday, April 6th. So, editing March's vlog since about 10 o'clock this morning. Lesson learned. The reason why this took so long, I was working off of three different SD cards. Car footage, uh, birthday party footage, vlog footage, intermingled on all three cards, plus cell phone footage that was just scattered about. I will never do this to myself again. One SD card per project. I don't care if I gotta buy five more SD cards. This cannot happen again, can I? Oh, lovely, don't die. I don't know if I'm supposed to take this off. I just saw my first book. I feel like I'm hurting you. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm hurting you. Oh. Okay, listen. I'm just gonna leave the bottom because I'm not sure. I hope that's not a mistake. Like you are. You, you seem like you pretty well packed in there. Lovely. I know I did a terrible job, but I, I don't know what else to do here. You're looking pretty sad right now, so I'm hoping I can get you to judge yourself back up. I'm going to sit you on the table. Ew, look at all the spiders over there. Okay, I'm going to sit you right here so I can keep an eye on you. Okay, so today is Saturday. I got that plant on a Thursday at work. She said if I scanned the QR code that it would uh, show me what to do. I scanned the QR code and it didn't show me nothing. So I went on YouTube because I have killed every plant that I've ever touched. One of my coworkers a couple years ago gave me a Vicks plant and she told me it's impossible to kill this plant. You can do nothing to the plant and it won't die. I had the plant for approximately three days and the plant was looking very much how lovely it's looking now. I took it back to her. She literally set it on the patio at our job. She did nothing to the plant. She set it on the patio. She didn't put no water in it. And let me tell you, that plant was flourishing. So I'm going to do my best and keep lovely alive. I really want her to live. I'm on my way to the dermatologist to try to get some help because what I'm doing ain't working. Okay, I made it. I made it just in time. Let me run on in here and uh, get my paperwork done because it's my first time here. It's supposed to be 19 mile an hour wind gusts today so i don't wore this old sweater thinking i'm gonna be cold and it ain't it's a barely a breeze Instructions. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Today is April 17th. <clears throat> I just got in from work. I went to Publix to grab a couple things because I was hungry. And you know, that's the worst thing you could do is go shopping, especially to a grocery store, when you are hungry. But needless to say, I did okay. These Publix chicken wings that I just tore down three hot ones real quick because I was so freaking hungry. Yeah, I ain't even take them out the bag. Look, that's how that's how serious the situation was. Good news so far, my plant is not dead yet. She's actually kind of revived herself a little bit. Thank God we listened to Jose. 
He was like, nah, I don't listen to that. You need to put some water on that plant. So Jose took it upon himself to go out there and put more water. And she seemed like she trying to kind of perk herself up. I took all the dead leaves off, but it looked real bad, y'all. I was talking to my accountability partner and I told her that I wanted to do live streaming on YouTube. I want to do it for 90 days. Like, you know, I love a good challenge. Haven't done Vlogmas. That was only one month. I don't know if this is going to be, like, am I overreaching my capabilities? I want to take my audience along with me on the journey of creating the actual business, like everything that I do step by step. Some stuff I might have to record as like going to the bank and things like that because I'm still a new YouTuber, so I don't have access to be able to go live on my cell phone yet because I don't know if I'm going to get this far, but I have an idea that for a business that I want to launch, that's an actual physical brick and mortar business. But I don't know if I'm going to get that far in the 90 days of actually launching. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not really nervous about going live. If anything, I'm nervous about going live is my mouth. Because you know, your girl is a cusser. It just makes me happy. And it's such a shameful thing. I promise myself that I would never post anything that put um a bad light on on my family you know i want to make sure that the legacy that my grandparents left is a, a legacy of you know black excellence or just you know being excellent period that's a 90 days is a significant amount of time to do something consistently every single day you know at the end of the day i'm just sharing my journey to building this content ecosystem and possibly if i get everything completed before the 90 days is up stepping into you know building a brand and a business that will be an actual physical business you know with a physical address that you could go to so i'm excited about the prospect of that and what that looks like i know i'm gonna do it it's just i'm scared i i'm scared and i don't know i think it's more so the accountability about saying that i'm gonna do it every day for 90 days but i'm excited to see how i grow from there in May, <laughs> you will know whether I did it or not because I will be, um, I'll be what, at least two or three weeks into my lives already. So, fingers crossed it's going well. April 19th. Jose just put some water on it, but she already looking down and out in the dumps again. Happy Sunday. We're finally going to church. It's been a minute. Let's see. Let me see how. How Lovely's doing. Lovely look like she's still hanging in there. I got the little jet. Is that a bad turn for the little kids? That's Make the card time. I got him. It came with some stickers. I uh, told her to get a gift card. I'm not getting He's seven years old. Let the mother pick it out for him. If you seven, you and it's your birthday party, you looking for a gift. Yeah, you ain't looking for no it. gift card. I got him a um, crystal garden kit. And then I got him this drone fix, or you can make your own drone. Mm -hmm. I think it's just like a replica of a drone. I be trying to get kids stuff that's good to help you learn something, a skill, or something like that. I'm gonna put this on the record. About, ain't even been three months ago, he looked me dead in my eye and promised me that he was not gonna buy another pair of sneakers. You two world, tell my wife. Ain't nothing wrong with being a little sneakerhead. It is when you promise your wife that you're not going to buy no more for one whole year, 365 whole days. And then today, confessions like his name was Usher. <laughs> I find out. <laughs> It's I told you, I, you didn't find out. You trying he to say told, like I lied. He confessed that he 
was not a man of his word oh, and Lord. he went and bought a pair of shoes. It was on sale for $60. I don't care. A man of your word. A man is nothing without his word. Look who's talking. Hey, let me tell you something, YouTube world. I go wake up in the morning and she said, oh, we're going to eat healthy. <laughs> I opened the fridge, <laughs> got my sliders, ice cream, and pizza. And never trust a woman. <laughs> Listen, I said we was going to eat healthy. I didn't give my promise. word We're and promise. Right. We're going to no. do better this year. We're going to do better this year. I didn't give a solemn oath. I didn't give a blood oath. I didn't give no blood oath. This ain't, this ain't no Game of Thrones. <laughs> the North should remember. <laughs> He promised, and he nah. broke such promise. I did break Might as well break your wedding vows <laughs> next. What's next? Nah. <laughs> break your laws, break your wedding vows. <laughs>152. My husband had me take a half day because he's taking me to lunch. She's still mad about the Jordans. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> I, I gave him three options because I, you know, I just got craving for some pasta. Just something simple. Oh. So I don't know. We'll, I'll see you once I think we we'll go to Olive Garden. Okay. We'll go to Olive Garden. Olive Garden it is. First of all, I'm perpetrating a fraud. I can't see. <laughs> I'll get that better cheney for here. Those sound good. They're really good. Mm -hmm. Look at Jose. Mm. The lunch special is better. Oh, I'm not going to be as full. That's good. Oh, I got chicken in my house. That's right. To go with, with it. I think you taught me how to do it. Oh, yeah. No idea. Oh, I did. This is the whole reason we came here. Is that the moose? The black tie moose cake. Excellent. Full as two little fat rats. We're about oh, to head the to the bookstore. Oh, okay. Put it on. Get a new book? I just want to look. See what they got. When a woman says she's going to look, she's going to buy. Probably. Okay. Where are you at? You behind me? I'm glad we went to the bookstore before going home so that I don't just go home and go to sleep on all that pasta. It's a beautiful day. Today is Tuesday, April 23rd, if I did not say so, early on in the vlog. And uh, it is so pretty out today. 
I don't know why I got y'all so close to my face. But yeah. My husband made me a Yo, birthday work, lunch. Buddy. He made me chicken. I don't know if he put me on a diet, but <laughs> chicken, meal, rice, and broccoli. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, buddy. 2024. Don't money because my hair's a mess. <laughs> I'm keeping it in. My favorite cake. Hey, hey, Editing Jay here. I, at some point during the filming of that car sequence, hit something on my camera that put the rest of these clips in slow-mo. I have no idea what I did, so I definitely need to figure that out quicker, sooner than later. So just enjoy this little uh, silent vlog portion of the video here. Rushing me like this, like why? Why I gotta be oh, rushed? Remember, I got, we gotta go to um, like we, this. We to Come on, let's go. It's my birthday. It's your birthday, not three. Oh. Go to your right. Go to your right. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, we gotta. They try to surprise me, but Jose was giving it away because his ass was pushing me, making me walk so fast. This is the last day of April, April 30th. Let me close out April's vlog and uh, hang out with y'all for a minute and give some updates. It's been a lot happening this month. I'm super proud. I have been live streaming 
on YouTube every day since my birthday, April 24th, 7. Today will be day 7 of the live stream. So that's the biggest update. Of course, I had my uh, 48th birthday. Like, that's the first time that he's actually took it upon himself to, like, really set up something for me that I didn't know about in advance. That was really special. I'm like, it only took you 12 years. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I kid. I kid. But I want to say most guys do not take the initiative in a relationship to plan events out. I think that's most guys. I might be being biased, but I think most women are the ones that kind of take the lead on planning trips and stuff like that for the family. But yeah, my house is a little bit in disarray to segue. That was a, a terrible segue. But a lot of this stuff is we had to get, um, we got a new roof a while ago. I'm ashamed to say how long it's been. But we got a new roof and we never got a four-point inspection and a wind mitigation to be able to shop for new rates for your insurance, basically. I'm usually on the ball with stuff when it comes to the house and things like that but for some reason i just was dragging my feet on getting that inspection done it was just one of the things it was like oh i'll call tomorrow i'll call tomorrow or next weekend next weekend and let's just say a couple years two years and went by that we didn't had a new roof two years this month you know i probably could have saved a thousand dollars or more at least on my property insurance just by getting that done. That was the whole reason I got it done was so that we could have options and shop insurance for the house. So a lot of, I said all that to say, a lot of what's happening, why I have stuff just out is because we had that inspection and you know, you have to clear out so that they can get to your plumbing. So I had to take all that stuff out. So yeah. That's where we are. I don't know what I'm meal prepping today. I know I got some chicken in there because I had a whole grocery debacle this weekend. So I'm just kind of like off of my routine. You know, normally I like to meal prep on Sundays, but because my, um, my groceries didn't come right, here, I'm gonna sit y'all down so I can load the dishwasher. That just threw the whole week off. So I never did get my meal prep done. So we just been eating out, eating scraps here and there. Jose cooked yesterday, thank God. So we had actual cooked meal yesterday. I'm just, I just wanted to share just how proud I am of myself for just sticking with the plan. I have been consistent for a whole week. Granted, I'm doing this for 90 days, so I still got a long way to go. Not just being consistent with the live stream, but actually taking massive action. Every day I've checked off a major, you know, milestone with creating this business from. I got my mission and vision statements done in technically one day. I, you know, so those were two two of the bigger items that normally I would have pussyfooted around and it would have took me at least a week to, to complete each of them because I'll get real cerebral with things like that. Like I'll research it to death. How, to, you know, what's the best way to write a mission statement? I did do these things, but I didn't take all day with it. Like I didn't. I did do my research. I did ask those questions in Google. I did look at examples, but I didn't let it make me stay there, if that makes sense. Like, I'll get caught up in the minutia of doing things and just stay doing busy work, but not actually being busy, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. I have been doing practical things and getting things done and moving on to the next thing so that's i feel like the biggest thing that i'm proud of right now so yeah <sighs> okay i'm glad i got all that off my chest so once i get over here i i do have to do the live the live stream today 
I have to do the live stream, but um, what I have on my top three notebook for today is to, um, one of the things that I already done was to do my about um, verbiage that will be used on my website and on my social media and just different things like that. So that was one of the things on my top three today that's done already. And then editing August. I mean, oh Lord, look at me. I didn't jump us all the way past the, the uh, summer to August. April, editing the April vlog. And there was one, of, oh, we're going to take my mom on a cruise for her 80th birthday. So I'm spearheading that project. So I narrowed, I did get the uh, options narrowed down to two, the two best options that I found for the dates that we're interested in. I sent it to the family last night for them to, you know, look at it. I, I gave them to Friday to, you know, look at it and get back to me with any um, recommendations or any changes or anything, you know, whatever feedback that they have on Friday. I'm pulling the trigger on my end. And if you going, this is the link. And if you're not, we'll see you when we get back. Um, you know, I want everybody to be able to go. So I did it with enough time for people to get their coins together, get on a payment plan, make uh, get their off days at their jobs. So prayerfully, everybody do what they need to do and it'll be a nice outing. But we going to go and rest and relax. I tell you that much. I got this box in here from my car. I've been little by little emptying it out. You see all these napkins I got in here. I have a problem. All these napkins came out of my, my Model 3. <laughs> I have a problem. Let me throw these napkins away. They done been all down in this box. They done been uh, tossed around, uh, moved to and fro. I'm going to put them in the uh, recycling because they ain't nothing wrong with them, but I'm not going to put these in the new car. Um, Yeah. So I need to take that stuff out of that box. And uh, my trays are in here that came out of my Model 3. And I keep a bunch of these napkins in my car because my aunt always asking me for napkins. For face napkins. I, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why she always need a face napkin. But okay. <laughs> so I keep them in my car. Uh, all right. I think that's pretty good progress. So I'm going to go in here and figure out what I'm going to cook.